anything like that. Well, what we've done with a couple of the oven calls for the, our store is to build some very streamlined customs out of those, and people get a lot of guitar for the money. You know? yeah. so. You can see a lot of these came from exactly the same board. So they're considered what, what uh, some guys would call sister sets. Where this one, it's conceivably as close as two, say, backs could be to each other. So they're going to respond as close as possible to each other. Yeah, I've heard, you know, I'm somewhat familiar with sawing techniques, the quarter sawing versus flitch sawing, and then, you know, rip sawing woods and stuff like that. Yeah. So a flitch you just consider a block. Of wood. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, like, flitch match, what that meant was somebody took a block of wood and cut it into a bunch of slices, like, like they were cutting, uh, like, lunch meat or something. Right. And then they took them and went like that and laid them all out. So it's a series of book matches. So you'd see it laid out on, like, a big panel of furniture or something, where it's the same book match over and over. That was because they had a big, thick block, and they got you know, a dozen slices or ten slices or whatever it might be. I could have done that, or I could have picked this set of sides and done that or that. So they, you can see the distinctness. These came from next to each other out of the same board. Same with this guy. So, at any rate, it's kind of fun because it's almost like a like a miniature suite. If it, if all the guitars were to be built together and stay kind of together, you'd have like this little tiny mini run. Yeah, yeah. Some people like to do like one size, like a GA or something, uh -huh. and then a sister, like a GC or. Yeah. Which is precisely what we're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> so, I initially heard a, an overcall in cedar guitar, and I like the slightly more direct nature, particularly yeah. on a GS with some of the redwood. Yeah. I mean, do you have any thoughts on it? The redwood is, is cool. I prefer cedar with it. Cedar? Okay. Or Engelman. We have some really nice Engelman. That's, we don't really get it anymore, but I made a special purchase of some that I that I found. You have like, you know, Western Red Cedar, you've got Redwood, then you have Englewood. And then European, European, Sitka, Adiranda. The Englewood is almost closer to the, to the cedar side, but it has a little more of the volume than you get out of the spruce. One of the reasons that I, I've been staying away from Redwood is I don't like as much of the Redwood Red Team as the game. It's got to be just the right piece to work real well. And typically, when I do see it, I want to put it on a small guitar. So if it's a GS, for me, I'd rather see something like a great piece of cedar or a great piece of an Engelman on that guitar. But not totally there. It's a little, like you said, a lot more direct. Yeah. So when you put the two of them together, it's, it's this, the guitar has a really nice presence, but it's a very warm guitar. It kind of just sits right there, you know, right with the player. Yeah. Cool. Are you going to do these two? Or? Well, part of what I like about the open call ones we've done in the past is that they've been a little more accessible price-wise. Yeah. And then, you know, things like Koa and, you know, in the years past, we've done some really nice Madagascar guitars. You know, there are people who expect kind of the premium. So uh, that's what I intend to, to do with the custom we're going to select today is kind of have a, a nice spectrum. You know, so for yeah. the guy who doesn't have $6,000 to drop on the guitar, there's something still really distinctive yeah. that, you know, is unlike any other tailor out there. You know? Two on both the cedar and an Engelman, I would do the Adirondack racing. Well, that's uh, that's yeah. kind of like you, you almost have to go there because yeah. it it's just too awesome to not. Well, there's certain features you know. Uh, 
after years of experience with these, stu uh, these guitars, there are things that I know that matter and some that don't when it comes to the performance yeah. of the guitar. So that's one. A lot of what we do in the past has been CD braised, which yeah. I tend to prefer. I think it's a more dynamic bracing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know your yeah, thoughts on that. Great. Uh, particularly for the TS. So. Um, yeah. I have Personally, I'd like to see an ebony bound with like, I really like the tiny little two, mil two and a half millimeter dots. Not the offset ones, that looks a little funky to me, but just a really nice, clean, traditional yeah. pattern. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, it's tough to be. It's like there's a reason we keep coming back to that after 100 years. Right. No, I, I think that's that's pretty much in line with what I had envisioned. Yeah. So. Maybe you that my parents' attitude, my attitude, I'm, I'm interested in the best sound and playability for the money. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> At least you have good ones. <laughs> Let's go together. And we d definitely need to check the size, because they're kind of... I think it's small body on this. Uh, I've been really... A, I really like 12 fret cuts. Some of these. Do you think we could get a, a GC Absolutely. 12 fret yeah. out of these? You totally could. Too. The GC <laughs> you could. You could build a lot of different guitars out of that. It's really cool stuff, and honestly, it sounds it sounds wonderful with no matter what top you put on it. Yeah, it's, it's really tough to go oh, wrong. Okay. So, All right. Yeah, there's a there's a handful of sets that are cool. I'm, I'm thinking those. maybe cedar on this. Cedar yeah. would be really cool. I you know with these varieties of rosewood that are a little more reflective. Yeah. I like the contrast of a you know a little warmer, more, more complex sounding top. Yeah. And Edelman or Cedar would both, both be really good. This one, if you were going to do a GC, a Redwood top would also be good. That's, that was my hope, is what you would say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it's a GC, let's... Lines. This tree wasn't totally round. It grew faster on one it, side. Like it started to come up out of the side of the hill like that. And so trees always end up growing straight towards the sun. But because it started at an angle, it grew faster on one side. So you can see these kind of burly, gnarly inner lines. This one, compared to that one, this one even. Way, way stiffer. So that one's a possibility. Still not, I'm not sold. Yeah, I don't really like that one too much. Should I trash it? Yeah, we should get rid of that. I'd rather trash them. Like, these are the kind of thing where I, I can't throw them away. I have to yeah, show somebody so, and get them like a horrible. They look so pretty, but it's just not the guitar top. It's like the type of thing that you would make a chair out of. That one's crap. That one's crap. Clean it house. Clean it house. This is nice. See, this is what I mean with the red ones. Like, okay, this one's got a crack in it as well. Same spot. <laughs> that one's got that one's got potential. This one's like flimsy. Motherboard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this wobbly. Compare it. Compare the two. Oh yeah. Excuse me. Uh, so even though wobbly. these, let's say, come out, they're the same grade. You have to be particular about which one you use. It has a nice figure too. That one would make a good talk. Yeah, 
I'd go with that one. Okay. It's like scratched off. Yeah. I wouldn't go bigger than that. But my preference would be like to do a GA or a, excuse me, a GC. Can you get it? Well, one what of the lessons I've learned is deferring to the chef. <laughs> what do your customers prefer? We have a lot of finger soft customers. You know, we sell also a lot of grand auditoriums. You know, so those two models. You know, GCs do well for us. We have that kind of clientele. This would this would be cool as a GA if you do add around that racing on it. That would be cool. Well, one guitar we had in the past that was a killer was a Matty Rosewood and uh, Cedar Top GA. That one's like every time we love that. So. I'm personally a little would, haunted by one that I should have bought. <laughs> this, would, this would be a, a real cool guitar. Another thing is, have you ever tried a 12 fret GA? No. This would make a good 12 fret GA. I it's, reveal it's my kind, ignorance. It's kind of buried under there. People don't know to ask for it, but we're, we can do it. Because that that's a, like a... It's the perfect example of what people look for in the co-op. It's the real dramatic color, real dramatic figure. Yeah. Sonically, I really like this kind of stuff. The real orderly. It's going to be more consistent in how it vibrates, probably. It is. Yeah, so. But it doesn't have the it doesn't have the same eye pop factor. I think it's cool, but I'm kind of kind of the, the old school sort of person. Well, that one's said to be the top of this one, so that one doesn't have sides. Yeah, you know, so they're off there in top back side sets already. Yeah. I just take the top. This one, I I would have an easy time breaking that up because they, the matches are great. Yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> I didn't match it. But <laughs> But I think when he goes through them, it's kind of like... Yeah, you're, you're, they're, every you're, piece of wood is... Dealing with what you had at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I'd go with that one. That one is nice. The sides are a really good match for that back. But the figure's yeah, real dramatic. Really it's going to finish out like a million miles deep. Yeah. Okay, I, I mean, I'm much like yourself, I have a tendency to go for tone. That said, most of the maple guitars that we're building currently have a 10 to end up fairly high. Right. We usually are on big guitars for maple. You know, we get a 618. Yeah, the, the GO, the way I designed that was I specifically had maple as like, I want to build a really great maple guitar. Let's talk about it, right? Yeah. Well, more than we had flame, too. Often I have a tendency towards quilts. It's going to be a little looser and a little yeah. warmer in most cases. Add some color and finishing. Do like, you know, burst the edges. Do like a shaded edge burst. So it obviously still looks like maple, but has a bit of a burned color around the edge. Yeah. It make the it make the colors blend up together a little better. It's a thought, yeah. Uh, something like something like that, and then use rosewood binding. That would look really good. Yeah. That would be that'd be cool. Because then it's not like a full sunburst. It's not like that traditional guitar, where like a real, almost like you're just taking the color of maple, and at the edge is making it the color of cedar. Yeah. Like and then it. putting rosewood binding around it. Just do back and sides of the person. I'd probably do the top two. Yeah. That way they kind of just blend together. It looks really good. Kind of See it harder. To match. Yeah. Make it harder to match. Match it up. Yeah, like the, uh, it would actually be about the same edge burst as what we do on like, the Coe series. It's, it's basically a cedarish kind of color. This one's cool. I like this one. Yeah, there's some graphics. That's a really good one. I'm actually 
probably less interested in a graph. It's a cool look, but I'm not sure this one what it does sonically. Not much, actually. It doesn't do much. This one would be really cool. Provided that it was shaped that direction. So that you get like Here, I got a better pencil. You get the, the chevron shape going forward. And would you want to connect? straighten the grain out too? Like, that's what I would Yeah, I might do that a little bit. I might take a wedge cut. There's enough width there that we could do it. Yeah, that's what I've been taught. Like, to try to straighten it out like, like that. Yeah, it's not I would put it right around like that and make sure the upper bout is on this side so that you see the cool chip on the curl. Yeah, right on. That or on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, a lot of woods work very well with it. So you can do cedar, you can do the angle man, you can do the European. I'm a big fan of walnuts and cedars. And clearly, you can see yeah. I have a pension for cedar tops. Yeah. But most of what I play <laughs> are spruce top guitars. But okay. I, I do like them as a fingerstop player. England that might be cool. What's that? England that might be cool. These are... These are some really nice Engelman. I don't like the so much nicer than last one. Yeah, this, this <laughs> yeah, is probably the, the last getting time close to the last of it. 